Hello guys, my name is More Madhuri and I am going to explain about the wire and wireless network. What actually the wired network means, it is the collection of two or more computers, printers or many other devices. But uh, it, these uh, two or more devices, they are get connected with the uh, cables which are called as twisted pair cables, coaxial cables or fiber optic cables. But uh, while connecting to these uh, computers, means we are, as we are making the network of this wired net, uh, Ethernet cables, means Ethernet is the fastest wired network protocol. The speed of this Ethernet cable is uh, in between the 10 megabytes to the 100 megabytes or it may also higher than the 100 megabytes. Uh, by connecting the Ethernet cable to the computer, the, for that computer there is need of the Ethernet adapter. Uh, this is the actual connection about the wireless net, wired network. The benefits of the wired network are that it gives the more secureness and the bandwidth of this wired network is very high and it can be used in many situations mostly in the, uh, for making the for in the school we are making the network for that purpose there is use of the wired network only and also in the hospital also it is very useful and the drawback of this wired network means uh, for at each and every time we have to make the connection uh, as we are using the cables therefore for uh, it is not efficient that always we are making the connection of this cable so the, it is one of the drawback of this wired net now the next network is the wireless network what the actually the wireless network means this network is a network without using the cables as wired means we were using the cables and uh, wireless means uh, here we are not using the cables but which uses the high frequency radio uh, radio waves rather than the wires communication node between the nodes in the wireless network each computer is mostly connected with the, or communicated with many other computers uh, for example for sharing the files for transferring the files or for uh, doing communication purpose this network is for and uh, for the broad communicating this network is very useful the actual connection of the wireless network is as like uh, this uh, here the, in this wireless network here the wired connection is also given as the wired and also the wireless miss wired means here the uh, the two pieces are get connected with the wire and wireless network is shown as like uh, given in this diagram now the benefits of the wireless network are uh, the wireless network are far easier to move than the wired network and users existing to an existing wireless network is easy the most important one is that option to expand your current wire network to the areas of your organization where it would otherwise not be cost effective or practical to do so. In many organizations also we are using the wireless network. The drawback of wireless network is that uh, it is it is not reliable means wireless networks are reliable but when interfaced with it can be reduced range and quality of the signal the next drawback of this wireless network is that uh, while adding the devices to this wireless wireless network is very typical means we cannot directly add the uh, devices to this wireless network as in the wired network it is very easy to add the uh, devices means uh, we have to only uh, connect the wire to the device but in wireless network it is not so like that so this is one of the most drawback of this wireless network the actual difference between the wired and wireless network is that uh, the cost uh, the cost of the wired network is high, higher than the wireless network because in wired network we are using the uh, wires or many types of devices are get used and uh, for connection purpose there is use of the very various types of the instruments and in wireless network it is not so as like so wireless network is less costlier than the wired network uh, in wired network the, the main difference between the wired and wired network is that the in wired network there is a point to point communication is there uh, for example if you take the example of the te te telephone here the uh, here the point to point communication get occurs uh, point to point communication get occurs and the next is a wire uh, and in wireless network the broadcasting of the 
uh, for broadcasting of our communication this wireless network is used means for example the uh, radio as it broadcast the messages and also the bluetooth and wifi the next difference of the wired network is that here the attenuation depends on the distance and in wireless network the attenuation depends upon the proportional to the square of the distance here the attenuation means the noise means here the noise is dependent on the distance and in wireless it is the i think a pro proportional to the square of the distance and The wired network is the costlier, but for the security purpose, the uh, wired network is most better than the wireless network. The conclusion through this topic is that uh, nowadays we are using the wireless network for performing or for doing the each and every activities. For example, if we want to communicate, if we want to send the message, or if we want to perform many other activities, then we are using the wireless network only. Uh, so, according to me, the wireless network is most beneficial or better to use than the wire net wired network thank you